Hi, and welcome to this video on the breakdown and regeneration of ATP. There are other videos, quizzes, and past papers on the website, which is www.elevise.co.uk, or you can click the link in the description below, and that will take you directly through to the website. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate, and it's sometimes referred to as the energy currency of cells. And this is because ATP passes energy that has been produced through respiration to other processes that need to use energy in order to occur. An example would be active transport. Active transport is the net movement of particles against the concentration gradient. This means that particles are moved from a place where there is a low concentration to a place where there is a high concentration. Energy is needed for this process to occur. But what is ATP actually made out of? ATP is made up of adenosine, which is an organic molecule, and free phosphate molecules, and these are inorganic molecules. ATP is short for adenosine triphosphate, so that means there's one adenosine molecule, and then tri before the phosphate means that there's three. For example, triangle means a three-sided shape, tricycle means three wheels on a bike, so the triphosphate means that there's going to be free phosphate molecules in ATP. So that's the composition of ATP looks at, but now let's have a look at how ATP actually releases energy. Energy is released from ATP when it is broken down in a cell. Water is needed to break down ATP, and it is broken down by the end phosphate breaking off. This creates adenosine diphosphate, which is ADP, and a single phosphate. The breaking down of ATP also produces energy. So that's the breaking down of ATP, but how can we produce ATP? We produce ATP by recharging ADP. The recharging process of ADP works by using energy that is produced during respiration to add a phosphate molecule back onto ADP, thus creating ATP. The recharging process also creates water. So if we look at the diagram, we can see that we have ADP plus a phosphate. These are then going to combine together in the recharging process, which is going to produce ATP, and we're going to get water as well. Energy from respiration is used for this recharging process, which is a turning of ADP into ATP. However, these reactions are not 100% efficient, and some of the energy from respiration reactions are lost as heat. Humans and mammals use this heat energy to maintain a constant body temperature. This brings us to the end of this video. For more content, quizzes and past papers, go on to the website which is www.elevise.co.uk or click the link in the description below.